Good morning, St. Philip's. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow in his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Stephen gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. Here ends the reading. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me. O Lord, O God of truth, my times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant, and in your loving kindness save me. A reading from 1 Peter. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, so that, that, so that by it you may grow into salvation if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture. See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe, he is precious, but for those who do not believe, 
The stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word, as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Here ends the reading. Reading from the Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may also be. You know the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him, and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak of my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and, in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me anything, I will do it. Here ends the reading. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thomas and Philip come to Jesus and ask him to show them the way. And Jesus responds, Have I been with you this long and you still don't know the way? I am the way. I really like this passage because it speaks of the way. Of course, that refers to Jesus, but at the same time, that same term, the way, is also the term that we use for the Camino de Santiago. We call it the way. The name of Don Elias Valina San Pedro might not ring any bells to you because he was just a simple parish priest an Osibrero, northern Spain. Over time, Don Elias sensed the leading of the Holy Spirit, and he followed that leading and began to study the history of the Camino, which stretched back for centuries. And as he did, one thing led to another, and the Holy Spirit revealed to him the importance of this ancient pilgrimage, this ancient trail. And so Don Elias accepted the Holy Spirit's calling to revive the Camino. In 1984, he put into motion his mission to mark the trails along the Camino, starting in the French Pyrenees and then going all the way across northern Spain from east to west. He painted yellow arrows to indicate the right way 
at various and sundry tricky crossroads along the trail that led to Santiago. He painted arrows on trees and pavement, buildings and curves, wherever, just in order to mark the route for pilgrims walking to the city. Legend has it that while he was painting the arrows, the police came up to him and asked him what he was doing. Don Elias explained with somewhat of a glimmer in his eye, I'm planning an invasion. Today, the Camino, known as the way, is marked with those yellow arrows. For over 450 miles, the yellow arrows that Don Elias placed there mark the way. In our gospel today, Philip and Thomas are concerned, how will they find the way? How will they know that they are following the way? How will they know they are following the way of Jesus? And Jesus explains to them, guys, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way. So how do you know? How do you know if you're following the way? How do you know if you're going where Jesus is? How do you know if you're on the right path? Well, by following the signs, of course. Now, I understand we don't have little yellow arrows marking our path each day. We don't have Don Elias out there planning an invasion. Or do we? Maybe we do. Maybe, just maybe, Jesus is planning an invasion, an invasion of love. And maybe there are signs out there just waiting for us to see, signs placed at key intersections where we can make a choice to follow or to disregard. And maybe, just maybe, the Holy Spirit is marking the way for us. Maybe Jesus is waiting along the way, the way that has been marked for us. And maybe he's present in the least of our brothers and sisters. And maybe, just maybe, the way we are to walk is the way of love. Loving others as Jesus loves us. Loving the least of our brothers and sisters because Jesus is present in the least as much as he is pre as present in us, in me. Maybe, just maybe. Each day as disciples, we are presented with a choice, a choice to follow. To follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, to follow an arrow, if you will, that the Holy Spirit has placed in our path, an arrow that leads us to love others as Jesus loves us or to choose to just walk past the arrow and walk on alone, missing Jesus in the least of our brothers and sisters. But not only are we disciples who follow, we are also apostles. We are sent out by Jesus to be witnesses. Go ye therefore into all the world, it says at the end of Matthew's Gospel. And Jesus said this, This is how everyone will know that you are mine, by how you love one another. My brothers and sisters, we are all, in essence, dying eyes. We are all sent out to mark the way, to leave signs, to mark the way with signs that are arrows of love, for others to see and to follow and to find the way to find Jesus. And so I close by asking, what signs are you following today? And what signs are you leaving for others to follow? Jesus said, I am the way. So let's follow. Let's continue that invasion of love that Jesus has begun. Let's go out and paint some arrows. Amen.
invite you to join with me as we declare our faith through the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. especially Kit and Patty. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. In union, blessed Jesus, with the faithful gathered in their homes around this town and community, especially our brothers and sisters of St. Philip's family, we long to offer you praise and thanksgiving for creation and all the blessings of this life, for the redemption won for us by your life, death, and resurrection for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. We pray that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament. And since we cannot at this time receive communion, we pray you to come into our hearts. We unite ourselves with you and embrace you with all our heart, our soul, and our mind. Let nothing separate us from you. Let us serve you in this life until by your grace we come to your glorious kingdom in unending peace. Amen. Now in the words that our Savior Christ has taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
Together, let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, and dwell in my heart in the fullness of your strength. Be my wisdom and guide me in right pathways. Conform my life and actions to the image of your holiness. And in the power of your gracious might, rule over every hostile power that threatens or disturbs the growth of your kingdom. Who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.